Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a five-part series on circuit board design. I put together a glossary of terms in the video description with the related terminology we'll be using in the series. Today we'll be looking at how to research parts for your project. As you begin to move past the concept stage of development, you'll need to start researching parts. Now you can start with the schematic and then start researching parts, but oftentimes PCBs are designed around a few key components. Part research can be done alongside the schematics creation, and a good way of doing this is by creating schematic blocks that group components that are involved in the same function together. This way you can focus on one section at a time or split the project up between different people. My recent favorite place to research parts is parts.io. They have compiled parts from all over the web and put them in an easy to use interface. Everything is nicely organized and easy to find. Once you find the category of the part you're looking for, the first thing you'll see is the filters. You can sort by manufacturer, clock speed, dimensions, risk rank, and many other filters. At the bottom of the page, you'll find all the parts that fit your specifications. You can view or download the data sheet directly from the page, as well as seeing the pricing and availability from multiple distributors. Another similar website that I like is Aero Electronics. They have a nice user interface like Parts.io, but they're also a distributor. Once you find the category of the part you're looking for, you'll see the filters on the left and the parts on the right with their data sheets and pricing information. Two other popular distributors are DigiKey and Mauser. They have similar interfaces, but DigiKey seems to have more filters that you can use. If at this point you still haven't found what you're looking for, don't be afraid to call the distributors or the manufacturers directly. They will gladly help you find what you're looking for and often provide very useful recommendations. In the next part of this series, we'll look at designing the schematic for the circuit board. See you next time.